In this video, we're going to take a look at upgrading to a new version of Mastercam and the process of updating our post-processor files if we use Mastercam's default location. When we refer to the default location, we're talking about Mastercam's shared Mastercam or shared MCAM folder located on your C drive. If you don't use this directory and you use a server location or some non-standard location, we have a separate video for that. Next, we want to just determine what files that we want to update. We know we'll need to update our post processor files. This includes machine definition, control definition, and post files. And then we also want to update anything else that we use, like customized tool libraries, operation defaults, wire tech libraries, anything that we know that we utilize that have been customized or are specific to our machines. We don't need to update the part files because that's going to happen whenever we open them in a new version. We'll be given the option to either save and overwrite them or save as. We'll run the migration wizard, but we're only going to update the shared folder. We do also have the option to update the user folder containing things like our config, toolbars, and other custom settings in Mastercam. We're just not going to touch on those in this video. We'll unselect any file types that we don't need. This will help speed up the process and it'll help eliminate any files that are already in the new version that are not customized. Once it's all done, we're going to populate our machine type list with our posts. And then we're going to take a quick look at opening old part files in a new version. In this example, we're going to be updating our files from Mastercam 2020 to Mastercam 2021. In this case, we have a lathe and we have a mill that we need to update through this process. And of course, if we have any other tool libraries or other files stored in our shared location, those will get updated as well. So let's jump over to 2021. The first thing that we want to do is go to File, Convert, and then Migration Wizard. In this case, we'll choose Advanced because that'll let us unselect certain file types. We only want to update the shared folder and we can hit next. This is where we can unselect file types that we know that we don't need. For example, we don't need to update our part files. Um, if there's other file types we know we don't need, materials, setup sheets, probing files, really we can probably update most of these last ones here unless you know that there's something there that you do use. But essentially we just want to make sure that we've covered our control definition, machine definition, and post files, and then tool libraries if we use them. If we do have Miltern environments, those can be selected as well. This is just letting us know that Mastercam can only update back to Mastercam 2018. Each version typically goes back three versions. So if you are running an older version than that, we may need to use an intermediate version to get it up to this point. We'll go ahead and hit finish and let the process begin. It's quite possible that during the process you'll be prompted if you want to update and overwrite or skip certain file types. Now, if you recognize the file and you know that it's nothing that you use, you can always just tell it to skip that file or you can tell it to update and replace. If you don't want to be prompted for every file type, you can just select to apply to all subsequent conflicts. Once the process is done, we'll get a confirmation message and we can either look at the results or we can not bother. Now that our files are updated, we can go ahead and add our post processors to our list. So we go to Lathe, Manage List, and there we can find our Akuma 2-axis lathe. We will note that it's always going to default to Mastercam's shared directory and since that's what we're using, we should see our files here. If for some reason we don't see our post files here, that could be that the files didn't update or there was a problem with the process. We'll do the same for mill and we'll pick our Haas 3-axis mill. Now let's take a quick look at what happens when we open up an older part file in the new version of Mastercam. We'll hit File, Open, and we'll grab a file from our desktop here. Right away, we see there's a bar across the top letting us know that this file is from a previous version of Mastercam. 
Now this gives us two options. We can either hit save, which means it's going to overwrite the file, or we can do a save as if for some reason we want to keep a copy of the older file. In this case, we'll go ahead and do a save as. And we'll just rename it to MasterCam 2021. The other thing that we can look at here is if we go to files, we can see that our post processor has already been selected from the new version of MasterCam. This is one advantage of using the shared directory is that MasterCam already knows it's going to look in that location to find the post that was saved from the previous version. So it saves us an extra step when we do use the shared location. Just as a reminder, if you have been watching this video and you don't use the default shared location for your post processor files, be sure to check out our other video, which we will include down in the link, for updating and reconfiguring files for a server location.